tea is the world's most widely consumed beverage after water and has played a significant role in global history. From the very first cup thousands of years ago to the present day, one thing remains unchanged. Harvesting tea leaves relies solely on human hands. India is one of the world's top producers and exporters of tea, renowned for its Darjeeling and Assam varieties, which are well known among tea drinkers globally. Behind the captivating bitter taste and rich aromatic fragrance, however, lies the life of a tea plantation worker in India. A poor quality of life, low wages, danger and the risk of being deceived are all endured by plantation workers. The sunlight hits the tender tea leaves until they shine. Neat rows of green tea bushes stretch into the distance, cascading down the mountainside. Tall trees are interspersed throughout the plantation, creating a shaded and orderly landscape, resembling a picturesque dream. The northeastern state of Assam in India is in the foothills of the Himalayas, where tea is grown extensively. Assam tea holds a renowned global reputation for its exceptional quality and distinctiveness. At around this hour of the day, the tea plantation is rather quiet. Apart from being after working hours, operations here have almost come to a halt. The young girl covers her head and mouth with a shawl, leaving only her sad expression exposed. She lives on the tea plantation, but does not work. Tea plantations require that each family has only one working member, but they allow those workers to bring their families to live with them. Her father used to work here, but when he became too old to continue, he passed on the right to work to his eldest son, who is married. On the vast tea plantation, spanning thousands of acres in this hilly region, workers are required to live in accommodations within the plantation. Despite the grandeur and beauty of the plantation, the workers' accommodations are very small, modest houses made of exposed brick and a floor of mixed soil and rocks. The walls have holes for doorways, but nothing to close them. When the rain pours, people inside the huts have to use plastic sheets in an attempt to stay dry. Inside the house, there's only a gas stove, cheap plastic tables and chairs, old clothes strewn on small wooden racks and a broken bicycle leaning against the wall. Although it may be basic, it still holds value for the family. The girl's father, mother, elder brother and the entire family of seven crowd together in this modest dwelling. The main source of income comes from just one person, earning a daily wage of 160 rupees. That's approximately two US dollars while the minimum wage in India is 177 rupees. A turning point in their life came when their friend persuaded her to work as a caregiver for the sick in the city. Innocently, she decided to go with her friend only to discover that her friend had been deceived by a human trafficker. ज्यादातर लोग क्या बोलते हैं लड़की किस तरह काम करते हैं क्या बोलते हैं गांव में आके गांव में आके क्या बोलेंगे आप घर में सिर्फ खाना बनाना होगा आपको अब इतना पैसा मिलेगा 10000 12000 ऐसे 10000 11000 मिलेगा ऐसे बोलते हैं Taking care of the sick turned out to be being confined in a narrow dark room waiting to be transported elsewhere she still had enough awareness, however, to send a message to her elder brother before it was too late. He informed the local police and local NGOs who came to help in time. The five days of confinement were filled with fear and her family's anxiety, especially for her mother, who counted every second until her child returned. <laughs> Harihar, a staff member of a non-governmental organization working to assist victims of trafficking, 
said that there are many cases of young girls being deceived here. One in three of every plantation worker's family faces this issue. हाँ वो तो ट्रैफिकिंग जब यहाँ से होता है तो यहाँ से लोग बाहर जाते हैं और कुछ कुछ मामला यहाँ पे दिखा है कि जो बाहर एक बार चले गए हैं वो जब फिर के आते हैं तो उनके साथ कभी कभी कोई दूसरा एरिया के भी लोग आ जाते हैं जो यहाँ पे आके ऐसे देखा गया है अच्छा पड़ा एक एरिया है वहाँ पे जो कि वहाँ पे कोई दूसरा एरिया से आके यहाँ पे रह रहा है और वो जो ट्रैफिकिंग का जो जाल है उसे और ज़्यादा बेहतर करके यहाँ पे असम इज़ वन ऑफ़ द पोरेस्ट स्टेट्स इन इंडिया फॉर अंडरप्रिविलेज्ड गर्ल्स हु लैक एजुकेशन एंड आर नाइव टू द वर्ल्ड लिपस्टिक a beautiful hairstyle or a new outfit are enough to make them feel content and willing to comply some are deceived like the girls who willingly engage in conversation with us while others are sold by their parents to agents some even voluntarily join due to the common underlying reason poverty many have been rescued and provided with assistance only to be lured back when new agents arrive offering promises of better lives clothes food money and a more comfortable life are offered by agents dressed in flashy attire and captivating jewelry sweet words are whispered painting a better and brighter future it doesn't require much contemplation by these girls to yearn for an escape from the harshness they endure Nearly 200 years ago, due to concerns about relying too heavily on Chinese tea, tea-hungry Brits began exploring suitable areas for tea production in their colonies, such as India. Their goal was to create jobs, establish a market in India, and generate revenue for the British Empire. When natural wild tea trees were discovered in the northern part of Assam, the process of transforming Assam into a tea-producing region began. Though challenging, British explorers successfully combined local knowledge with the expertise of Chinese tea growers. After four years of effort, the first batch of tea from Assam entered the market, delighting consumers with its distinctive flavor. In the remote hills of Assam, tea plantations known as tea estates have been established to attract Indian laborers. There are over 40,000 tea estates scattered throughout Assam. forming small kingdoms they consist of office buildings tea factories residential houses healthcare facilities and schools basic amenities such as water and electricity are provided free of charge anyone who lives within these estates must wake up eat work and sleep on a fixed routine with a favorable geography and climate coupled with an industrialized production system and transportation infrastructure developed by the british assam tea has flourished eventually surpassing chinese tea india had been the world's leading tea producer for over a century tea consumption has become an integral part of the lives and culture of the people in india spreading throughout the country garam chai a black tea with a strong flavor is traditionally prepared with milk and various spices according to regional preferences becoming a beloved national beverage known for its intoxicating aroma in recent years however china has successfully reclaimed its position as the top tea producer and has begun to challenge india's dominance in tea production and exports this has had a significant impact on several tea plantations in assam leading to a lack of working capital and an inability to pay wages resulting in gradual closures these tea estates are struggling to survive the estate managers explained that the tea business has been in decline for many years and their solution has been to halt operations temporarily to reduce expenses while they haven't completely shut down yet only a small portion of the workforce about 1300 people is still employed the school for the children of plantation workers remains open but there are no teachers available due to the lack of pay the small and dilapidated hospital is quiet and desolate with only one resident nurse doctors visit once a week for a brief 2 hour checkup 
So, sick garden, I'll tell you, sick garden means garden which is weaker in economic conditions. Okay. It's unable to give properly payment to people. They're unable to deposit their money to the provident fund office. Okay. And then they are unable to give uh, gratuity. Gratuity, you know, gratuity money. So, since uh, 2005 onwards, people have not received their gratuity. Some people have already died also. Really? Yeah. They have. They are unable to take out their gratuity money because they have died working here. They got retired. After a few years, they died. So many families are there. They have become victimized of this, I mean, condition. The somber atmosphere on the tea estates directly affects the workers. And even though they were already receiving low wages, now some of them are unemployed. Furthermore, due to its location along the border adjoining Nepal, Bhutan and Bangladesh, the area has become a hub for human trafficking. The victims are predominantly female, both children and adults. Agents travel in and out, engaging in both legitimate trade and deceiving those who are desperate and hopeless. They offer wonderful promises and glamorous pledges, claiming that if they travel to the big cities, they'll find employment with a minimum salary of 8,000 rupees or 97 US dollars per month. While languishing in the tea estates, it's unsurprising that they choose this option. When somebody is taken, when a girl is taken to like uh, Delhi, the agent who takes her, okay, now when she is given to some placement office, he immediately gets 20,000 or 30,000 rupees as a bonus for bringing that girl, okay. Now, the agents, those who are doing continuous this work, they cut uh, money from their payments. Suppose if they are getting 8,000 salary, 4,000 will be deducted to this placement, I mean, this uh, agent who is taking the, I mean, uh, person for working, okay? And then uh, remaining 5,000 he'll be getting or she'll be getting, okay? So, this is how they have met. The human trafficking operation works systematically fueled by the hopes of the impoverished. Once the negotiations are successful, the victims reluctantly embark on the journey. The promises soon become just empty words. From the tea estates, they are either sent to low-wage labor or forced into the sex trade. Furthermore, they're deceived into marrying men from other states with the possibility of elaborate wedding ceremonies. After the wedding, and settling into their husbands' homes, however, they become enslaved and are mistreated by every male member of the family. We have also I mean, learned that uh, one woman, one lady who is married to one family, that woman is shared with five brothers. Okay? Five brothers. They feel as a product, okay? And then these five people, five brothers, they use one lady. In that lady, this, the, those villages, I mean, what they do, this, uh, the Haryani people, not only Haryani people, there are some more other states and villages, they come over here, they marry, okay, and they go. And once they are taken there, they, I mean, that, uh, that, below, that wife or that girl or that lady becomes the wife of so many brothers also there. The unfortunate level of repetition of loved ones, whether they be sons or daughters being deceived and disappearing with agents is distressing. In most cases, family members choose not to report the incidents, fearing the consequences of making a big issue of it. They are afraid of their neighbors finding out and worried about facing social stigma as these matters are still sensitive in Indian society. If you want to see more great content from all over the world, please like the video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you. China is now the largest tea producer in the world, producing approximately 1.7 million tons per year, accounting for about 35% of global production. India follows closely behind with nearly 11%. When it comes to exports, however, Sri Lanka ranks first, followed by China, Kenya and India. This is because India consumes a significant portion of its tea production domestically. 
More than half of India's tea comes from Assam, which remains an important cultivation region, but it has passed its golden era. The entrance gate to the tea factory is left partially open. One can glimpse the deteriorating sign hanging beneath the partially collapsed roof. Abandoned cars lie lifeless in front of the blue door, covered in tall grass and weeds. Although there are still wire fences in place, the factory has been abandoned for several years. This tea estate has been permanently closed due to economic hardship. 600 workers were made unemployed. The infrastructure, such as office buildings and warehouses, remains as it was, but there are no longer any workers. There is some movement around the workers' housing area. Their attachment to the tea estate is not born out of loyalty, but rather because they have nowhere else to go. Ananti, a 30-year-old, had been working here for many years. He had his mother, wife and four-year-old daughter living together in the staff quarters. The family lived in this situation until the day the tea estate closed. Ananti made the decision to leave home and find work in another state while his mother, wife and young daughter remained in the staff quarters on the tea estate. Ananti sends money back home every month. Although it may not be much, it's enough on which to survive. One day, Ananti received distressing news from home that his wife and daughter had gone missing. तो बाहर में काम कर रहा था फिर यहां पे कोई आया यहां से ले गया उसको अभी तक नहीं मिला है फिर कि उसके पास मम्मी के पास घर गया था मम्मी का घर गया था मम्मी का घर गया वहां पे भी नहीं मिला कहीं पे पूरा मतलब बहुत खोजा वहां से आके बाहर से आके बहुत खोजा ढूंढा बहुत दूर-दूर गया यूपी भी गया था वहां पे भी नहीं मिला जहां पे एड्रेस मिलता वहां पे गया था वहां पे नहीं मिला फिर आया फिर उसका वो लेके उसका मम्मी लोग के पास गया तो मम्मी लोग भी कुछ पता ही नहीं बोला थाना होना बहुत बार गया थाना पर बहुत पर गया वो भी कुछ खाली ऐसे ही कर रही है कोई ढूंढ ढूंढ कोई कुछ नहीं कर रहा है और कोई छानबीन कुछ भी नहीं कर रहा है As soon as Ananti had been informed the young man quit his job and returned home to search for his wife and child He inquired tirelessly until he got a lead indicating that they may have been deceived by an agent and taken to a nearby town Ananti went to report to the police with hopes that they would help trace them and bring his wife and child back. His hopes faded as there was no news or progress whatsoever. He decided to search on his own, traveling to various places where people claimed to have seen his loved ones. During his search, Ananti knew well that he had limited education and could easily be deceived himself. So he brought along a friend to help in the search, which increased their expenses. With the little money they had saved, Ananti had to sell his last possession, the cow he had raised as an investment to support the search for his wife and child. Although he had nothing left, Ananti will never stop searching for the two most important people in his life. One year had passed and there was still no trace. The house was left untouched, swept and maintained. The clothes, shoes and the household items of his wife and child are kept carefully. The pink dress with golden embroidery belonging to his little daughter was hung on a pillar, waiting for the day when its owner would come back to wear it again. The closure of the tea plantation brought great hardship to the workers. Not everyone was young or strong enough to find work elsewhere. Many of them were elderly workers who had spent their entire lives on the tea plantation. Their physical condition was not at its best. In addition, they lacked knowledge and expertise in other fields of work. Deepankar Ghosh, one of the union representatives, mentioned that when there was nowhere to go, people had to rely on government assistance. Even that help never arrived. Turbangi to shilper kono babusthai ni. Jekhen kar chile na. Je eta amlau bivinno bhabe amdolone gye chilam. Je chabagan related kono shilpo kora ho. Kintu government shidi ke gal jachhi na. Tahle to shilpo shilpo jodi ho to chabagan related jodi industry ho to tahle ki ho to. Ieta job ieta create ho to. 
জব ক্রিয়েট হলে ছেলে পেলেরা তখন আর বাইরে যেত না সবাই এখানে কাজ করত Many people have perished on the tea plantations and those who remained live in despair. It became a golden opportunity for unscrupulous agents. Amidst the vast tea plantations, it wasn't just the tea leaves that were harvested. There were also countless impoverished and destitute individuals exploited for the benefit of the human trafficking industry. Tea is an important economic crop in India. with its production accounting for 4% of the country's GDP. There are approximately 3 million people employed in the tea industry, most of whom are living in poverty, lacking health care and education. While enjoying a cup of fragrant tea, how many people actually think of the hands that picked the tea leaves? They work hard, receive minimal wages, and are often deceived. Even the tea they drink daily is made with the tea leaves discarded during the production process. The taste of tea may be bitter, but the taste of the plantation worker's life is even more so.